Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. It's Sunday, it's Choices, it's the Freshman Book 1 Chapter 5 where football season begins and an assignment from Professor Pasquez forces us into an organ encounter with Chris! Chapter 5, Game Day. Ooh, a few days later, you're just getting out of a lecture with Zach and Tyler. A professor a tear. I'll expect those problem sets completed and emailed to me by Friday. That seems fair. Oh, who knew college was going to be so much work? Are you kidding me? I can't wait to get started. Maybe we could form a little study group that would make the work more fun. The voice always gets me. Study buddies! Jesus. Have I ever told you how adorably nerdy you are? Study buddies it is. Oh yeah, he likes oh, dudes. Zach likes Those them. two. As you exit the lecture hall, you see Abby walking back towards your suite. Ooh. Oh, sweet one. Abby, what a sweet ass. Uh, oh, so Tyler likes Abby. Tyler's not gay? Uh, okay. No, Zach's gay. They're both gay. Speaking of which, how are things with you and her and Chris? Chris? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Nothing happened. There's nothing to tell. He thinks that he lost press too much. Indeed. Oh, please, you're new to already made out. Made out. Not so loud! The worst part is, I have to talk to Chris for Professor Pasquez's assignment, and it's gonna be so awkward. Love the music. Fine, fine, I'll stop teasing you for now. <laughs> but I'll just be honest with you for a second, how do you feel about Chris? Oh, here we go. We don't feel with Chris, do we? He's, he means nothing to he's us. He's just a friend. Well, if he's your friend, then talking to him should be no big deal about it, right? I guess you have a point. I guess you have a point! Of Sorry. Course, I do. It's best to learn about it. I'm always right. <laughs> now, come on. Chris should be in the middle of practice. Oh. Why practice. is Zach now Professor Vasquez? Well, they've had, they're very similar. I, I imagine they're father and son. Right. If Vasquez is like, Vasquez is like, you can watch him in action. Zach is like, you can watch him in action. And then a few questions about being live as a football player. Those were the same voice. Well, football. A few minutes later, you arrive at the stadium and find the team on the green practicing drills. Go Knights. Oh wow, look at Captain America over there by the sideline. Captain of- Whoa, oh, what a dick. Wait, I recognize that face. It's Darren Taylor. He's our school's starting quarterback. Not Darren Taylor. Oh, the very same. I don't see Chris around. Maybe I should ask Darren a few questions about football live. You walk up to Darren and find him chatting with a pair of all too familiar girls. It's the Cappers, it's Becca. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Breathing, existing. Ah, isn't this so witty? Well, go exist somewhere else. Madison and I are having a deep conversation with Darren. That was exactly the same voice. Madison's fucking fit. I like dude. Madison. He was just telling us about how to handle getting tackled. That he was. He's talking about handling tackles. But she loved that. Maybe you could show me your technique later, Darren. I'm super serial. It's all about squaring the hips and getting low to the ground. Woof. He sounds like that, doesn't he? He does. Sounds like fun. Actually, I was sort of hoping I could ask Darren a question for a project, you know, about sex. Go right ahead, new girl. Don't be shy. <laughs> is it hard to bounce football in school? This is good. We're learning for Vasquez. It's not easy. I always try to take a lighter side during fall quarter, since I'm so busy playing with other men's balls. I like... <laughs> Fuck. Not everyone on the team seems so happy-go-lucky. No, they're all dicks. Zach gestures towards a bench at the far end of the field, where Chris is sitting by himself, hanging his head. You walk away from the group and approach Chris. And so Becca likes Chris. Of course, everyone likes Chris. He's conventionally Brad Pitt-esque. Well, we don't. That's true. Aren't you bound to being a bench warmer? You could see right through me. It's just, I knew I'd be on the bench behind Darren. Giggity. But I wasn't really prepared for the reality of it. I can't stand the idea of not being able to help my teammates get a win. You know? face. You're boring. He reaches out to take your hand. Step back. Where's Caitlin? I, uh, sorry. Ugh, what a day. Logan! Ah, <laughs> Chris Couch is asking me, ready to get some reps? Yeah, it looks like that's you. That just be you. Well, met, we rejected him. Have you met Logan before? I don't fucking know anymore, dude. Later that week, the night before the big game, you sit at the table in the kitchen to do some studying. Exciting stuff. This problem is actually harder than I thought. That's not what he said. That's why you need study buddies! Study buddies! Ice cream cone! Snow cone! Snow cone! Snow cone. I'll be sitting in front of my laptop waiting for the new episode of The Crown of the Flame if anyone needs me. <laughs> that face is my reaction as well. I'm like, yeah. who is this bitch? 
Maybe we should talk to her tits, Mickey. You've got the female connection. The lesbian connection. What? I don't care enough to spend money that we're only spending money when it comes to full-on penetrative lesbian sex. What? I can't ask Abby out for you, Tyler. Oh my God, that was English. If you want her, go do something about it. Decisions that cost money are the ones that like being nice and being friendly. It's all bullshit. Yeah, the when it's says, ones. do you fancy yeah. coming back to my room to do lines of drugs and have sex? That's, that's a premium choice. On the day of Chris's first game, you bump into him as he's leaving the suite. Hey, Tits McGee. Ready for the big game? Yeah, ready to keep the bench nice and warm. Mm. Are we sure we don't want Chris? I don't want Chris. As he leaves, Caitlin walks up to you. Here she is. Hey, Tits McGee! Looks like somebody's got his shoulder pads in a twit. That's not the, f that's not, no. Then let's remind him how awesome he is. Let's fuck him together and film it for a website. We have young fans. Assemble the housemates. So hang on, they're now gonna go to the game as Chris's fan club. What are you planning? We're gonna get our boobs out with Chris written on him. Go Chris! You hold up a sign reading, Chris is number one. Here he comes. Shirts off everyone. Wow, they actually are. Wow. Take my shirt, shirt off. off. Oh, yeah. yeah, you take off your shirts to reveal Chris painted all across your stomachs. Yes! Whoa. Omaha, 52 black, 52 black. Ha, ha. Check out my, uh, that's a different guy. Check out my Enzo dads. I'm a creepy looking guy who potentially has a unibrow. There are too many characters in this. Half time finds the score nodded at 21 21. Who will win? Isn't this episode getting big and exciting? Oh, there better not be a cliffhanger. Who knew sports would be so stressful? As the game winds to a close, you're down 24 21 with only a minute left to play. Holy shit, this is like Super Bowl 2017 all over again. Let's do this, Knights. We can still win this thing. Darren drops back, looking for an opening. Woof. Holy crap, they're blitzing. The opposing team rushes Darren in a sudden charge. He takes a vicious sack. <coughs> oh God. What's a vicious sack? My ankle. Does that mean that Chris will be the new quarterback? I definitely heard something snap. I think I'm gonna be sick. How's that even legal? That's As you point. watch in stunned silence, Darren is carted off the field. Oh no! It's next man up, and that man is Chris! Chris runs onto the field, taking Darren's place. Here we go. Come on, guys, let's get the crowd fired up! Go, Knights! Go, Knights! Yeah! You shout Chris's name, and the crowd joins in! Chris, Chris. Okay, Chris, let's do this Chris, Chris, for Chris, Darren. Chris. The next play starts. Chris drops back, looking for an opening. His eyes dart left, right. Hey, rookie, I'm open! Chris throws the ball, and. <laughs> Touchdown, yeah! baby! Woo! Yeah! Go Knights. A while later, after a big win, you and your friends wait for Chris on the main quad outside the stadium. There he is! Woohoo! That's our superstar! Hey guys, thanks so much for being there for me today. Of course! You're our friend! Ooh. Wow, that whole run on sixth and long? Completely amazing! I can't even begin to tell you how wrong that sentence was. We wouldn't know. I was about to say, I don't know much yeah. about NFL, but that doesn't sound right to me. The point Maddie is trying to make is you need to come celebrate your victory with us. You should listen to them, bro. Kappa Pi Sigma parties are epic. Sure, I'd love to come as long as my friends are invited too. Ooh. You mean that bunch of shut your mouth, Ooh. you big breasted bimbo bitch. Sounds like fun, I'll see you there. No way, I'm not letting you out of my sight. You're coming with me. Uh, I guess I'll see you there, guys. Becca takes Chris by the hand and starts leading him towards Carbos. Hey, Sid, I think our boy needs to rescue. Those girls look like trouble. They look like whores. So now it's time for Operation Rescue Chris or the evil sorority girl? We need to rescue him. The truth is, Chris deserves better than her. I'm not sure how I feel about Chris, but I definitely don't want to sit back and watch a good friend end up under the spell of a girl like that. Came on, Kappa party, here we come. Oh. I am very excited for the next chapter. I don't know what's going to happen. Kappa Pi Sigma Party? Honestly, I can feel the sexual tension with Caitlyn escalating every episode. We'll Chris, Chris wants our, our B and T's. It's just not going to happen. I don't know what B and T's means, but <laughs> I've said it now. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like the video, subscribe to Game Hog. If you already haven't, you're getting a phone call, so we better end this quickly. Yes. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you then, guys. Bye, Z's. Bye, Z's.